Oh, oh, he's flaring up. Oh my gosh. Hey, yo, what's crack like and challenger? I'm your host, James Moreland, and today we have two awesome things for betta fish. One of these I have never tried, and it is this one. This is a betta fish mirror, which is meant to entertain and exercise our betta fish. I have tried this before, and currently our betta fish Goldilocks who looks absolutely beautiful. He already has one, but you can see it fell down. I need to fix that. But I also have this tank, and this tank is currently covered with paper because it's a spoiler. If you were to see this, you guys would see what the next couple videos are gonna be about, so I can't really show it off. But I did remove a lot of duckweed from this tank, but I still need to work on this tank because it's gonna look epic once I'm done with it. So I can't spoil it in this video. I know I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but yeah, that's why there's paper on this tank. But trust me, it is going to be an awesome video. But you can see our better fish Goldilocks. What's poppin'? It has been a while since I showed you guys this tank. We also have some shrimp in this tank, if I can get a focus of them. So yeah, honestly, let's just jump right into this video. So there is one of these already in the tank. I've made a video about betta hammocks, and these things are really great for betta fish. It's like a little platform they can sleep on, and they can rest on, and honestly, I have them in most of my betta fish tanks, and they always use them. So I'm gonna have to fix that one that is in the back over there. This is a little new thing that I've never tried before. So let's open it one-handed. That could have been bad. All right, so basically there is a little ball on this and this is gonna float and the little mirror you can see, can we get it? Oh, 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 you can kind of see me. Hey, what's popping? <laughs> so basically when betta fish see themselves in reflections or mirrors, they get angry because they don't recognize that it's their, their own reflection. They think it's another fish. And as you guys know, betta fish are very aggressive. That is why they're called the Siamese fighting fish. I mean, they're aggressive most of the time, but yeah, so they'll flare up. And what flaring up means is they'll expand their gills, they'll move their fins around really quickly, and they'll try intimidating any other fish. They also kind of show off their colors if it was a female. But you guys can see, oh, why is it so bad getting a focus? But you guys can see the betta fish has a little bit of fin nipping on the back. So when betta fish get bored and they don't like entertain themselves and they don't have anything to do, sometimes they decide to turn around and bite their fins. It's something that most of them do. There's also like a genetic trait that can happen, but I don't really think that's with him. He's just been a little bored in this tank since he only has some shrimp to keep him entertained. And I guess a bunch of snails. So this exercise ball is not going to always be in this tank. You're only supposed to keep it in for about five to 10 minutes once a day. Um, but I feel like if we just drop it in there, maybe he'll interact. So it takes a couple sessions for the betta fish to get used to it, but we're not gonna just try it on Goldilocks. We're also gonna try it on my koi betta fish and maybe my betta fish sorority. So I think I should just drop it in there and let's see what he does, how he acts. You guys can kind of see, let's see if we can get him in the reflection. Oh, you guys can see the reflection. Looks like he can kind of see it. He's looking at it. Oh, oh, he's flaring up. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see that? He's going so quick. Do you see his fins puffed out and his, and his gills? Oh my gosh. He is really angry. Oh, he looks so cool. So this isn't meant to be in the tank for that long because as you guys can see, he's kind of a little stressed. He's using quite a bit of energy. Oh my gosh, look, you can see his, what is that color? I can't even see it. Hey, drop a like if I need to clean this tank because it needs some cleaning on the glass. These lights are super, super powerful. Oh, he's in the back. He's a little scared. That was so cool. Guys, did you just see that? My betta fish, he went so, he, he got angry. That was, okay. He's going back for round two. He's, I've never seen him swim this fast. <gasps> look how big his fins are and his gills. I'm gonna have to do this more so I can get better angles. But oh my gosh, I'll do this later. I think I'm gonna remove it soon. I've never seen him react so aggressively. This betta fish is like freaking out. Look at his fins, oh my gosh. He's just showing off his fins and showing how big he is to warn off any predators or any other betta fish that are trying to intimidate him. That is so cool. Can you guys see the bottom of his gills? They're like a little, there's like a little bit of color. I don't know what color that is. It looks a little red or blue, some dark color. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He is going crazy right now. Do you guys see how much, oh my gosh. Okay, I think I'm gonna remove it even though it has just been a couple minutes. Some people keep them in for longer, but I don't want him to get super stressed out because uh, that could be bad. Even though, yeah, this is an exercise toy, I don't want it to be prolonged stress, especially since this is new to him. He's not used to seeing such a big predator, but eventually I think he'll get a little bit more chill, but still flare up. But look at his fins, you can just see them glisten. He is really showing off. This is so crazy. Make sure you guys comment hashtag Goldie and stay tuned to the end of the video so you can figure out how we're doing a giveaway and how you guys can win. But oh my.
goodness. He is just looking right at it. He looks so different. I've never seen him react like that. You guys can see a little bit of his gills right there. Oh my gosh. I think he's just in shock right now. He doesn't know what's going on. He, I mean, gladly he's not like hitting it or something. He's just trying to swim and show off his colors. Wow, he's looking really good. Oh, there we go. Another flare up. That is so crazy. I've never seen, like, okay. So, like, I've seen my betta fish get a little bit stressed before. And, like, I've seen them puff out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I've seen them a little bit stressed. I've seen them puff up a little bit, get a little bit aggressive. But I've never seen them like this. I've never seen my betta fish so aggressive and so flared up before. That was crazy. All right, Sassy, I'm going to remove it so you don't get any more ideas of being angry. Oh, I really want to try it on my other betta fish in this tank, but I can't show you guys this tank yet. I want to feed him right now. I'll do that at the end of the video, but uh, I, I don't want to stress him out a little bit more. But I am going to stick my hand in super, super quick just so I can pick up the betta leaf that's hanging down right there. So he has somewhere to rest later. All right, pulling up my sleeves. Here we go. Hey, buddy. I hope you don't stress him out. He's like chill with me. He's, he's a pretty chill betta. That's why I was so surprised when I saw him be so aggressive. Are there any snails? There are so many snails in there. Do you guys see all those little dots? Those are all little baby ramhorn snails. No, that's an, an uh, that's an upcoming video too. All right, so I'm just gonna squeeze this on, and this thing, little uh, be the betta fish is able to sleep on. It is really really cool when I see it done. Actually, wait, I have a footage of one of my female bettas laying on a sponge filter, and kind of sleeping. I'll play that footage for you guys right now. I forgot I filmed it on my phone. So yeah, that's what I mean when betta fish sleep. So let's go over to my 20 gallon long that has my koi betta fish and see if he reacts. A couple days ago, I removed some guppy grass from his tank, so it's a little bit more open. So yeah, let's blast over there. I am going to be dropping a link down below if you guys want to check this out and try it on your betta fish. And if you guys do try it on your betta fish, or if you already have one, send a picture or send a video of it to me at challenge.thewild. I love to see it. And if your betta fish flares up too. And share this video to a friend that also has a betta fish. And maybe they could try it too. I want to see if he's here. I saw him last night, and he was actually, I, I felt like I should have done it last night. He's sometimes hard to find, just because there is, again, so much guppy grass, even though I did thin it out a lot. He's probably hiding. I wanted to try it on his tank. It'd be cool if we tried this on some other fish, but I don't feel like they'd react just as much as the other one did. Oh, I can't find him. Let me move around the guppy grass a little bit. Oh, I found him. He was hiding inside the log. Oh my gosh. I'm going to plop this in here, see if he sees it. He's also really chill betta fish, so it might be a little strange if he flares up. I'm not going to be used to it. But I just love the reds on him. Oh, he look, I think he's seeing himself. He's right next to it. He has to see it. I don't want to move it, but... Oh, he might not be interested. He honestly is one of my most chill betta fish, I'd have to say. Oh, look at that red. I love this koi. I want, I really, I might want to get another one just because they look so cool. Even though their fins are a little bit shorter, they just have that vibrant red. And his scales are like almost perfect. He really has gotten a lot bigger since I got him in the first place. It doesn't really look like we're going to get a reaction out of him, unfortunately. Maybe we could try this in a different video. I'll just like put it into a random clip, but I'm going to remove it and put it up here. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I've been trying to post a little bit more frequently. We always post at least one video a week. I did a live stream on Tuesday. I, I try posting videos on Tuesdays, so make sure you guys check out those. And then also videos every Friday. That's what today is, in case you didn't know. And we have Goldilocks right here. I'm going to try feeding Goldilocks so you guys can see when he eats. He is a pretty vicious eater. One of my favorite things to do is look at betta fish from up above. I love that angle, but you guys can see him right now. So yeah, guys, check out down below if you want to get your own betta mirror so you can try it on your own betta fish. I feel like it's really, really helpful. I mean, you can see the betta fish flared up. Maybe I'll check back in a couple weeks. I'll try doing it at least once a day and see if, if he stops biting his fins. Also, if your betta fish or your fish ever tear their fins, aquarium salt can help with that. But let's talk about the giveaway. 
So I'm going to be giving away 10 sticker packs for Challenge the Wild. You guys can check it out down below. Go to my Instagram at Challenge the Wild and make sure you're subscribed to this channel. But drop a follow and check out the latest post. That's going to explain the giveaway and the entries. Unfortunately, it is US only because it's hard to ship things internationally, especially when they're like smaller packages. Make sure you guys check it out if you're in the US and you want to win some Challenge the Wild stickers. That would be dope. Hey, there's a mirror right here. What's, what's crack a lacking? And you guys can see the water stains from the bubbles. And also sometimes it spills when I do water changes. But yeah, guys, I think that is going to be it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed the reaction from this beta official alone was really really awesome all right guys i will catch you all on the flippy flop see you all later check out my instagram at james morland i'll catch you all later bye